We do have a new article to go through. People have taken out $100 billion from big banks. Let's check it out. The latest study shows that people have taken out nearly $100 billion from big banks such as JP Morgan, Bank of America, Citi, and Wells Fargo during the first quarter of this year. Financial Times reported that analysts projected depositors looking for high returns from the money market funds and other alternatives which drew nearly $100 billion from these big banks. And the Federal Reserve data shows that bank customers collectively pulled out almost $100 billion from their accounts. Data shows that the bulk of the money came from small banks. Large institutions saw deposits increase by, by $67 billion, while smaller banks saw outflows of $120 billion. So the small banks are once again getting the brunt of this whole situation. The withdrawals brought total deposits down to just over $17.5 trillion and represented about 0.6 of the total. Deposits have been on a steady decline over the past year or so, falling $582.4 billion since February 2022. According to seasonality-adjusted Fed data per CNBC, banks have been flocking to emergency lending facilities set up after the failures of SVB and Signature. Data released showed that institutions took a daily average of $106.1 billion in loans from the central bank's discount window, the highest since the financial crisis, and have taken out $53.7 billion from the bank term lending funding program. So it seems like the big banks could be in trouble ahead, but the small banks are still getting absolutely crushed. If we had the same buy volume on AMC like we did a year ago, we would squeeze. Where's all the hype now? Why have this show scared people from buying AMC? Then they say down below said they'll buy, but volume is dead for the entire market. And much of what little is left has been shunted to the shadows. AMC remains one of the most compelling upside choices in the entire market. I'm buying a batch tomorrow, AMC. So this thing brings up a good point. There isn't really that much volume across the entire stock market right now. I think for the most part though, the retail investors that are holding on to AMC are holding on to our shares. I personally haven't bought any more shares in a while. I'm still holding on to the shares that I have and waiting for massive dip opportunities. But comment down below if at this point, you're more or less holding on to what you already have or if you're truly buying more, let me know.